What's good guys? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, but today I got a brand new video that we just got to talk about. Now I did a poll on YouTube and I asked you guys what video did you guys want to see next? And a lot of you guys answered. You guys want the video where I'm going to give you guys, in my opinion, what are going to be the builds that you guys need to stay away from in NBA 2K19. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smack a like and also comment 2K. By doing this, my next video is going to be the bills that you guys should go for, aka the best bills in NBA 2K19. If you guys are brand new, go ahead and subscribe and also ring the bell. Now today I got a very busy day, but I'm going to try to stream tonight. So make sure your notifications are on. I'll probably say something on Twitter. My Twitter is down below in the description. Follow me on Twitter. But let's go ahead and get into this, man. Like, all right. So with all of the information that has been leaked, there has been dropped, and all the facts that we have been getting so far, I'm using all of these facts to predict what is going to be good and what is going to be bad in NBA 2K19. So I say that to say this. This is all my opinion. I know you little hating little babies out there are going to have something to say, but this is all my opinion. Y'all are going to say, how you know the worst build if 2K ain't dropped yet? This is all my opinion, all right? So let's go ahead and get into it. Now that I think we got everything out the way, the first archetype that I think is going to be garbage. If you guys have no skill, now all of this is just saying if NBA 2K19 archetype system is the same exact archetype system as NBA 2K18. Now the first build that I wanna go ahead and bring up are those playmakers. So for you dribble gods out there, I got some bad news, but I also got some good news. Now the bad news is that there's a brand new defending system. If you aren't as skilled as you think you are, NBA 2K19 will definitely show your flaws. Now in NBA 2K19, the blow by animation isn't going to be as easy as 18. You actually got to know what you're doing with the ball in your hand. 2K19 has reworked their whole system. So now in NBA 2K19, stick skills actually mean something because they matter. With Mike Wang saying that they're trying to bring back the skill gap in 2K19, this is going to be a good thing. So the only way to really get blow bys is if you just beat your opponent. You have to beat your opponent. Not just running a straight line right by him. You actually got to dribble and get him off balance. Now, the next thing that I fear for you guys that just love to dribble the air out of the ball is that in NBA 2K19, there is going to be a new stealing system. So now, if your defender actually knows what he's doing, he can easily swipe at the ball. And nine times out of ten, that ball might actually become a loose ball. For you dribblers out there that just need to go and practice, I highly suggest that you go do that now. Because for those people that actually know how to play defense in NBA 2K, they're going to be rewarded for their smart timing next year. So I highly suggest for you dribble gods out there to go find some new moves because if you're predictable, you're going to get eaten up. But let me go ahead and finish off this archetype by saying what is the good news. Now the good news is that there was another 2K19 leak and it says for you dribblers out there, for the people that reach on you and they have bad timing, they will be penalized. So I guess that will either trigger a blow by or you can easily cross them over. This is something that's good. So if you're not going against a skilled defender, then you probably don't have anything to worry about. But if you are, let's go ahead and spam up them GG's. Now let's go ahead and get into the next archetype. Now the next archetype that I have for you guys are those post scorers. Now your boy was a post scorer this year. I would fear to be a post scorer next year. Just because with this new stealing system, it's going to be a little bit easier. So now if there's a secondary defender and I'm not protecting the ball, he just going to come behind me and just swipe. And that's a steal pretty much every time. I'm also scared of the brand new interior defense system. Now, honestly, I have no idea how that's going to work. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys can agree that all NBA 2K18 was just dunks and layups because it was so easy to get those. By there being no interior defense last year, it kind of made post scoring big men OP. 
But now with this new interior defense and all this new brand new stealing systems and all that stuff, you know when 2K brings something into the game for the first time or they just try to like refurbish something, do you guys remember how OP these things are? Didn't they just have to patch shooting last year? So I'm not trying to see any of my subscribers hurt. I, I would hate for you guys to think that, oh, it's going to be easy to score in the paint just like last year because it's not going to be. Those inside builds, I'm actually kind of scared for. We'll definitely have to sit and wait and see how everything plays out. But as of right now, these builds that are just dominant inside, you got to be skilled or you got to have some IQ to know when to let that ball go. Because if you hold on to the ball too long, you're going to get either double teamed or you're going to get stripped. And that's something that you guys would all hate. So I got to warn you guys. I just had to warn you guys. It just seems like NBA 2K19 is going to be a heavily focused defensive game. 18 was all offense. 19 is pretty much where the defense is going to actually strive. Interior defense is going to be something this year. And I'm, I'm excited. It's too many times that you're getting either dunked on or you're not even touching the dude and it's too easy to drive. NBA 2K19, they shutting all that down. So this leads me to my final build that you guys should worry about and that is those slashing builds. With those slashers, if you can't shoot or can't do anything else, you're going to struggle next year. They took zigzagging out the game. I just played Pro-Am last night against a shot creating slasher. All he did was go to the top zigzag run and dunk on people well that zigzag is out there's going to be way better interior defense and i did hear that all the people at the nba 2k19 event said that without the proper timing and without the proper iq you will be missing a lot more layups so all those contested layups where there's six hands in your face and you still somehow get the layup to go in that's not going to happen in NBA 2K19, buddy. So you might want to pick another archetype to, to dominate with, bro. This is just my opinion, though. But the one thing that should shake you slashers out there is the fact that with that interior defense, when you draw contact, you will get certain different animations. So if you're going to make the layup, I have no idea. But when you hit against the chest of a big man, your player will actually feel it. So no more just brainlessly driving on three people and dunking on three people and just having fun being an OP slasher. So these are the three builds that I highly suggest you guys just be careful about. I'm not going to say don't build them, but right now with all this information given to us, just be careful. I would hate for you guys to waste all of your VC on the build that you think was OP in NBA 2K18 and you try and bring them to 19 and... You're in your room crying. I, I, I don't want that. But y'all let me know how y'all feel down below in the comment section. If you guys missed out on my last video, I will drop that down below in the description. And if you also missed out on the video where I broke down all of the major changes that we're going to see in NBA 2K19, that will be down there too. So go check those videos out. We all need to know about these changes before we get this game in our hands. But like I said, this is all my prediction. This is all my opinion. This is what I think. If you want to tell me what you think, leave that down below in the comment section. But if you guys want my opinion on what is going to be the best builds in NBA 2K19, y'all hit the like button and y'all comment 2K down below. If I get enough of these, then uh, I'm going to drop that video sooner. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell. And until next time, it's been your boy Cino, and I'm getting up out of here, man. Peace. Cream soda fango down, still dreaming. They hate on me. I don't know the reason. Finna wake them all up. Cause I know they sleeping. I'm wide awake, but shit, I'm still dreaming.